Okay, well, welcome to Linux Music this week. This is the second of the automation in Ardor, and we're going to automate in effect everything we've talked about so far, uh, aux sends, uh, buses, uh, plugins, and automation. We're going to wrap it all up this week into one bundle for you, so stick with me and, and uh, let's go. Okay, well, this thought will look familiar to you from last time, uh, last couple of times. Uh, just to reinforce what we're going to do here before we really get started, I'm going to come up here and uh, hit my forward slash key. And we talked about this last time to do a fade in with the drums and come back here, hit my backslash key, pull it over, fade the drums out. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing down here. And I'm going to give it a really, really long fade in. 30 seconds there. And the reason is this dry signal, I want to uh, bring it up late so that you can hear what we're doing when, when we play through here so you can hear what we're doing uh, without that. And then it'll come in for both. So let's get started with this. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a bus. And we'll make it a stereo bus. And I'm going to call it the flanger bus. And we'll add a flanger to it. I hope this looks familiar. We've done this a couple times. And there's our calf flanger that you know I love. And so now we have a flanger bus and we have the calf flanger hooked to it. What I'm going to do is come up here to my strings. And I'm going to right click here and put on an, ex, an aug send to the flanger bus. Okay. Now, what I want you to notice here is I put this on before the fader. So the full signal is going to come out of this track and go down to the flanger bus. In the meanwhile, the rest of the signal will follow down this track. And as you can see, we've faded in slowly. Now here is the really cool thing we're gonna we're gonna do here is we are going to put up some automation and processor automation. It's looking at that plugin. Go to calf flanger, and these choices are going to correspond exactly to any buttons or dials or knobs or switches that are in that particular uh, plug-in. If I was uh, doing processor automation on reverb, you'd see all the reverb buttons here. You can choose whichever one you want to automate. If you want to, you can put up two or three automation tracks and, and uh, do a different one for each time. But for right now, let's come here. And I'm gonna I'm going to automate how much I kick this flanger on. So here is the flanger. This is the knob that I've decided to automate. And so let's just uh, come through here and remember that when I want to automate, I have to uh, hit right. If that's not familiar to you, then you didn't see last week, did you? Uh, so we're going to come through here once again. Uh, we're going to come through here. The drums are going to fade in. The synth bass is just the full track as it is. The dry signal for the synth strings is going to slowly ramp up. In the meantime, 100% uh, of the signal is going to come down here to the flanger bus. And we're going to automate how much we have that flanger running. Uh, in the meantime and up once we get here the rest of the track will come out and it'll be you know full track for the synth strings and the flanger uh, so let's let's go let's do that hear that flanger Do you 
see down here how this is tracking what I've done with the wet amount. So that's how that works. And now, as you can see, we'll put this uh, into play mode because I don't want to accidentally touch it up. Come back here. And what I want you to watch as we go through is you'll actually see the uh, flange amount, uh, the wet knob, move as we, as we kick this in and out. So watch up here. Watch this. Watch this button. a decrease okay so anyway that's how that works and I want to uh, just review that because that's pretty much all there is to it. It's, it's that easy. Is we have taken a bus and we've hooked an effect to the bus and we have chosen to automate one of the features on that effect. Uh, and we come up here to the track that is being affected, synth strings, put an AUG send out to our bus and then just come here and we do the the uh, tweak in the knobs tweak as we go through it and as long as this is in right uh, it'll it'll uh, you know uh, record that and so that's pretty much all there is to it I hope you learned something you can do this with any effect that you can plug into Arter uh, so get your stuff out play with it uh put a put a couple automation tracks on a single effect here and, and move different things try it with reverb move in and out of the cave whatever it would be uh but uh, all this stuff you gotta you gotta actually do it uh to, to see how it works so get in there try it have some fun and i'll i'll see you next week now you gotta admit that was pretty cool so that's that's it for this week uh here's the versions i'm using if your stuff doesn't act like my stuff then check here first meantime here's the websites i hope that you'll take a look get involved uh you gotta actually get in and and do some hands-on with this stuff you can't just watch these videos and and let it drop and think you've learned anything so uh pull up your stuff look at the videos get some help uh and have a ball i'll see you next week <laughs>